cost of living na kubaliana na wewe lakini nyinyi ndio mliharibu wacha mimi nirekebishe na hao wakulima mimi nafanya kazi na wao jambo la pili umesema kuna watu hawaniambii ukweli sasa mimi sijui mimi ndio siambiwi ukweli ama wewe ndio wapi ukweli because hiyo unasema nimeongeza sijui ushuru nimeongeza ushuru mimi nataka nikwambie my friend ukiangalia kwa budget kuna watu wa kuambia ukweli nimepunguza sehemu karibu ishirini ya mambo ya ushuru nimeondoa karibu bilioni tano ya madeni katika hii budget kupunguza mzigo kwa hao wa Kenya kwa sababu pale kwa historia unaweza kunishinda lakini hapo kwa uchumi ah bana mimi naelewa kabisa na waje tuambiane ukweli si tumesema tuambiane ukweli na shukuru umesema tuambiane ukweli mimi ni mwanafunzi wa karibu sana wa rais wa tatu anaitwa Mwai Kibaki yeye wakati alichukua kama rais ushuru ilikuwa 220 billion lakini kwa mpango na akili akaisukuma wakati alikuwa anaondoka baada ya miaka kumi, ushuru alikuwa ameifikisha karibu trillion moja. Na rafiki yangu uhuru akakuja akasukuma lakini akaongeza madeni mingi. Ikafika sasa 2 trillion. Sasa mimi ndio nimefika. Hapo kwa 2 trillion kwa hii budget nataka kusukuma kutoka 2 trillion mpaka 2.8 trillion kwa hii mwaka. Na vile eh, ndugu yangu former prime minister amesema amesema ananijua sana na ni kweli nasema ananijua nitapiga kelele kelele alafu nitatuliza na mimi pia namjua sana na nimemusoma sana ndio nilimshinda akiwa na uhuru namjua sana na kwa sababu mimi namjua sana najua hata ataendesha hii mambo yake pia hii yote mpaka na maandamano lakini mimi najua itaivia wapi I know that Si namna hiyo So sasa sisi kwa sababu tunajuana Si ndio Wewe unanijua mimi nakujua Tumekubaliana sasa wabunge waende waongee wa Si namna hiyo Wapangane huko bunge Wacha mimi ningangane na hii kazi. Hii nisukume hii kazi. Na mimi nataka eh, bwana prime minister umesema kuna maneno ya gharama ya maisha kupanda. Ni kweli. Gharama ya maisha iko juu. Lakini sasa si mimi nikichaguliwa si gharama ya maisha ilikuwa juu. Unga ilikuwa tutati saa hii ndio imepata hata nafuu nimeenda kutafuta tafuta mahindi nimelete nimepanga panga sasa unga ndio hiyo imefika 170 na kuja ikiteremka hawa wakulima wameenda shambani unajua makosa mulifanya nyinyi badala ya kwenda kusaidia mkulima kuzalisha mulienda kupatia pesa mila ule mtu anasiaga pale ule mtu ya kusiaga ako na unga yake ya kutoa wapi si natoka shambani ndio mimi nimeenda kwa wakulima kupanga hawa That is how to reduce the cost of living. You don't reduce the cost of living by working with millers to on subsidy programs. You subsidize production. You don't subsidize consumption. That is how the country went wrong. Sio kama tunaelewana. So, hapo kwa cost of living nakubaliana na wewe lakini nyinyi ndio mliharibu. Wacha mimi nirekebishe na hao wakulima mimi nafanya kazi na wao. Wale wanasema ati serikali inunue mashamba ni sawa. Lakini mashamba ya Maumau iko. Na inajulikana pahali iko. Si wale wako nayo warudishe hata kama ni nusu. Eh, yeah, na tutetee hiyo. Even as we ask the government to look for money to buy land for Maumau. The land for Maumau is known where it is. Those who took this land, they can be considered and give us at least half of that land.
and it is enough for the maumau hiyo shaba ni kubwa inaweza tosha hawa na watoto yao we feel bad we feel bad we feel cheated and we feel misused because our parents were buried having gotten nothing yet the collaborators of the home guards continue to enjoy everything the mau mau people fought for and they despise us and they look down upon us yet the vast lands they occupy belong to the mau mau and their descendants and that is the truth and i'm happy the former prime minister you have said we speak the truth welcome to the club of truthful men it is true the truth is good it sets you free ukweli ni kwamba bei ya unga iko juu ukweli pia ni kwamba when the hardship government was there unga ilikuwa 240 imeteremka ni 170 hamukufanya maandamano that is the truth that is the truth ukweli ni kwamba tumekuta uchumi umeharibika pesa yote ya serikali ilibiwa ikapelekwa kwa project ya BBI that is the truth the truth of the matter pesa ilibiwa ikapelekwa kwa project ya Simio that is the truth it is good for us to be truthful ukweli ni kwamba pia people must not live in denial the truth of the matter is that hasola number 1 william samoe ruto is a president of kenya and commander in chief of the defense forces that is the truth that is the truth and his deputy is a son of bauma urigiji that is the truth let us stop living in denial let us be truthful and once the truth we accept it it sets us free ukweli ni kwamba uchaguzi uliisha the next election is 2027 wale wa Kenya walipiga kura hakuna pahali walienda si wako wenye kupigiwa kura si iko that is the time to sort out all those things those that is the truth so let us be truthful and let us tell each other the truth because it's the right thing to do nikushukuru rais kwa sababu wewe uliamua ya kwamba huyu mama wetu ambaye alikuwa pale mstuni akipigania uhuru ambaye aliwachwa na bwana yake ambaye aliuawa na wameberu ukaamua serikali yako impatie heshima apate masishi ya kitaifa na serikali yako ikasimamia kila kitu kwa hii masishi rais kwa niaba ya watu ya maumau na watoto wao tunasema asante sisi rais tuko na furaha kwa sababu serikali zimepita zimekosa kutambua watu ya maumau The Mau Mau story is about land and freedom. Mau Mau ilikuwa naitwa the Land and Freedom Army. Na hao watu ya Mau Mau walipigana. Mzungu akiwa na gruleti, akiwa na bombs, akiwa na buduki, they had only a panga and a resolve to liberate their country. Uhuru kapatikana lakini mashamba haikupatikana. The British government gave 30 million pounds for land to be bought from settlers to settle the Mau Mau and their descendants. But the black colonialists who came after the white colonialists left diverted that money that land was taken by a few and given to home guards and collaborators. Na nimeshukuru sana former prime minister umekubaliana na sisi ya kwamba mashamba ya maumau ilichukuliwa na home guards and collaborators na tungetaka former prime minister kushukuru babako marehemu jaramogi kwa sababu he spoke about land grabbing for maumau land na akaumizwa kwa kuongea juu ya mashamba ya maumau Tugekataka kukuomba kwa heshima waziri mkuu wa zamani 
ukitetea wa Kenya kwa mambo zingine zote vile naendelea tunataka kusikia pia utetee hao watu warudishiwe mashamba yao na wale walichukua na muda wajua warudishia hao mashamba yao